Hello and welcome to Fiontech's first match in Stuttgart. She is playing Elise Mertens, the 30 in the world. And the win probability has given Fiontech a big advantage. Elise Mertens can compete well with um, top players on the day, so we're not right her off at all. But this is Fiontech's domain, really. Two-time defending champion, if I'm remembering correctly. And um, very, very strong, strong here in Stuttgart. Very strong. Sorry about the um, the delayed start of the stream. Uh, I was kind of just watching the warm up, and I forgot to start press start. So uh, that's my bad. <laughs> uh, welcome, Joe. Welcome, Lexi. Straight into the action after like 30 seconds, but it's okay. Contact serving first. She's won the Porsche twice, I believe. Just about finds the first serve. It's 15 love. Returners come back. 15 love. Yeah, Ons did lose to Jasmine Paolini. Brutal tiebreak in the first set. Yeah, Casper won against uh, Jordan Thompson, straight set, 6 4. 6 1, 6 4, I think. Good to see Rude not getting his head down after, um, after last week, where he had such a good semi final before, before uh, losing the final pretty one sidedly. Hoping Rude can have a good, a good week this week. Pretty sure Sviontek's the yeah two-time defending champion. I think she beat Sabalenka both finals uh, last year and the year before. Will it happen again? Is it written in the stars? A one versus two seed. At least Mertens will hope it's not the case. Was one three seed in 2022. Jasmine Paolini fights pretty hard. And double fault from Sviontek. After the forehand air, it's 15.30. He's a very chilled out guy. But then you, f you feel like he almost, he's so chilled out all the time that when he gets tense in big situations, he just can't handle it. I don't know. It's a, it's a strange phenomenon. You think someone so level-headed would be able to deliver that in the finals. Forehand air from Sviontek. Two break points for Elise Martin's just opening game on clay. Very rare you see Sviontek. The slowest start on her favorite surface. Can Elise Martin's take advantage? The Belgian. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Sean. And then when he when he's when he's losing, he's just kind of or or when he's missing, um he's kind of in free flow missing, if it makes any sense. The errors don't stop. <laughs> Have you eaten already? <laughs> I've not. <laughs> but uh luckily for me, this one's um Starting a lot earlier. Nice backhand to save the first break point for Sviontek. Yeah, Sviontek. I remember that uh, semi-final against Samsonova 2022 here in Stuttgart. That was an epic. Samsonova, arguably, should have won. I mean, it was very close. She was up a set. That was when I really started paying attention to Samsonova. If, if she can threaten Iga on this kind of surface, then what else can she do, you know? Ooh. Yontek was hoping that get from Mertens wasn't going to land in. It just went long. So two break points saved. Welcome, Sean. Except for Love. Well, he's cool until off the court, you know. I think Sitsipas is pretty... Um, he's pretty tense on court as well. 
Nadal is like ridiculously intense. But maybe it's a different kind of intensity that's not anger as much as it's um, just your competitive spirit, you know? There's some people in the crowd. Iga Hattrick Queen, they've got a poster there. Oh, they're shooting the gun a bit there. Forehand return to the backhand Spiontek. Backhand Mertens. Backhand Spiontek. Backhand Mertens. Into the net. Spiontek saves two break points. Holds the opening game. So Spiontek is only in her winning, uh, winning the two tournaments back to back. She's only gone to three sets once in each tournament. Um, last year, she got a bit fortunate. With Jabur being injured in the semis, that was a, a rough one to, to watch. Her go down that early. Um, so uh, she got a bit lucky last year and um, made up for it in the final. Good performance. Hey, Sam, welcome. Three Porsches in the garage, yeah. <laughs> That's what she's open for. Rabbit is playing this tournament. She's... Um, he beat Bedosa. It was an emotional uh, late night uh, match, three setter. Bedosa got injured. I'm not sure what the injury was, but she had to retire at 3 0 on the third. It was not how that uh, match should have ended, I feel. Uh, so she plays Von Drusova, who's back to a bit of form, back to back wins in straight sets. See what uh, Marquetta can do. She's the sixth seed still. Still got a high ranking. Despite her quite lack of consistency since the Wimbledon win. Backhand. Landed it. He gets the on tech for love 15. And she has time on these grand strokes. Watch out. And Elise Mertens just didn't look like she could keep up the depth in that rally. That's all. Hey, welcome, Terry. Welcome. Yeah, Emma would uh, like some Porsches on top of the Porsches she's been given. Porsches upon Porsches. <laughs> oh, thigh injury. That's, that's unfortunate. Hopefully, um, I mean, it's, it's a shame for her not being able to play Madrid, most probably. Hope she can get back for um, uh, Roman Roland Garros, you know. Forehand long from Merton. She's got to hold on early because Fiontek can just find breaks and run away with sets. We know this. Yeah, that I think that match is after this one. Big match was Linda Noskova there. Big, big match. Noskova, I think... Um, oh, I didn't make it as far as I thought, but I think played pretty well. I think she... Did she play Raducanu uh, a couple of French Opens ago? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, she played, um, played Raducanu first round of the French Open. So, uh, they have a clay match to look back on as Mertens makes another error. It's Love 40. Hey, Dutchie. Welcome. Long time no see. Long time no see. Pure Baltic. <laughs> Even in April. So break points here. Yeah, Lyndon Oskova. Nice serve from Mertens. Can't she put away the backhands? Spiontek's there. Forehand Mertens. Forehand Spiontek. Forehand Mertens. It is long, and it's the break of serve after Mertens couldn't take the opening two break points in that Spiontek game. Spiontek bounces back strongly to go up to love. Snow! <laughs> Snow! <laughs> dear, dear, dear. Yeah, she's uh, 
19, London Oscar. Beating uh, Eager earlier in the year. Let's see, can Shiontek get an easier service hold than the last one? That was filled with a couple errors, a double fault in there. Ooh, massive net cord. Doesn't need that kind of luck. Shiontek just dribbles over. <laughs> oh, that's just not what Elise Mertens needed. First point at two love. Not needed. Who's the 14 year old girl? Um, well, Brenda Fribertova was 15 last year, I think, winning some matches. Thirty loves Fiontech. Remember Brenda playing? Uh, was it Sloane Stevens or someone in um, Miami? Trying to remember. Very interesting match. Experience versus youth. There, um, Ash Fiontech misses the slice. Thirty fifteen. There's other matches going on right now as well. We got um, Hanfman Huesler in Munich, Bote van Zanschel versus Struff. So uh, two Germans playing in um, in Germany there on the clay courts. A lot of rain yesterday. Hoping to get some matches done today. Oh, not the right direction on the forehand from Schiontek, but Mertens can't get it over. Forty fifteen. Forty fifteen. Um, and also, we've got Sitsipas playing Carbeis Baina right now as well. Just started there. And Marjan Diaz Acosta in a third set. Diaz Acosta trying to get the immediate break in the third. Love one advantage. Ooh, it's just not going to get over. Mertens not competing incredibly well in these early parts. Up three love, but it can't happen to the best of them. Can't happen to the best of them. Free love eager. Night and day from the, the golf victory match. That was uh, all sorts of tense. <laughs> Good answer, Joe. Good answer. <laughs> oh, umpire talking to supervisor or someone on the. On the radio. Lisa Murray is still focused. You know, it's just one break. That's what happened before Iggy gets the break, and then all of a sudden it's 4 0, and still manages to scramble her way out normally on clay, but it's just one break. Francesca, Francesca, I think he. Played yesterday. Um, I remember Rom Romanian Open. We'll find the. I'll try and find it. <laughs> try and find it. I think he's playing um, at two fifty. Today, one today. Okay. So it's so annoying. Google doesn't give the results. The Romanian Open, uh, he beat uh, Radu Albo. So a good win there for a very young Brazilian. Is he like 17? Yeah, 17. 18 in August. Doing well on the clay courts. Earlier in the South American swing as well. And he's got himself a match with Tabio. He's played great this year. He beat Rinder Nation straight. So good quarterfinal there. Hopefully... Um, some good, uh, good quality clay core epics. I can return is wide from Igish Fiontek. Let's 
So 15 love. Can Elise Mertens get her first hold on the board? Draper and Fritz. You say good luck, Draper, but it is play courts. So I think that kind of equalizes things. I think Draper is more comfortable moving on clay courts than Fritz is, but is the pure power of Fritz. We've not seen too much form from Fritz this year, but yeah, who knows? Who knows what could happen in that one? I think clay lends itself to Draper more than it does Fritz. So we could see a three-setter, especially with uh, Fritz's up and down form. Wouldn't count out something close. Puts away the forehand nicely. Elise Mertens for 30-15. After the good backhand winner from Igor Svjontek. He has a cost to now up a break in the third. Trying to wrap up the match against Thabi and Marajan. Marajan did get the, the buy. He took over the Alcaraz position after Alcaraz withdrew. It's the lucky loser buy. He got the retirement versus Luka Van Ash, but looks like at the moment in time, he's losing in the quarters to Diaz Acosta in Barcelona. Backhand to backhand. Backhand drop shot, Lise Mertens. Iga's going to get there. Oh, it's not very good from Iga. Can she get to this forehand? It's not in. Not very good from Iga on the, a very... I mean, very obvious drop shot. Iga got there, but right into the forehand of Elise Mertens. So big opportunities for Sitsipas in that, uh, that tournament for sure. You feel like he will be... Um, He'll be aiming to get his first 500. That's the goal. Nothing less. As Elise Martins gets her first hold. Iga serving at 3-1 after 17 minutes. Ooh, serve just wide from Shantek. Big service game this one, just to um, reinstate the lead she has. Open up another three-game advantage. Serves the back end of Lisa Martins. Forehands Shantek. Into the open court for a winner, and that's going to give a reaction there. Dean Love. Serves the backhand Mertens. Backhand Spiontek is long 15-0. Pretty easy service game in the last game, but first one, she had to save two break points. Can Elise Mertens kind of pressure Svjantek into some more errors? Keep the ball in, keep it deep. See what happens. Svjantek gets a winner from um, behind the baseline. Fair enough. That's what uh, Mertens has got to do, you feel? Good return there. Also got to attack those second serves or short first ones in that. A great forehand return from Mertens up the line. Shionta couldn't get it back. Hope this match will under under an hour. <laughs> well, Mertens will hope not. Forehand to backhand for a winner, thirty all.
to be a lot of Poles here uh, in Stuttgart, neighboring country to Poland. I mean, there's always people supporting Spiontek wherever she goes, but here in um, Central Europe, I mean, she's going to get a lot of support as Martin's slice just goes long, 40-30, 50-30 down, game point for 4-1. Be a good hold here. Could be a good hold. We're back, and I got the win earlier in the day. Oh, there's uh, Sviontek's dad, I think. Tomasz uh, Sviontek in the crowd. Ooh, first serve, not close. We're back, and I got the win earlier against Kudermetseva. Um So she'll play uh, Jasmine Paulini in the quarterfinals here in Stuttgart. That's the top half of the draw where Sviontek is as the number one seed. Backhand, the backhand, forehand Mertens, backhand Sviontek, just in. Can Sviontek finish off the backhand? She can. Great strike in the backhand on the mid court, and uh, it is 4 1 to the pole. 4 1 to the pole. As uh, let's look at the Barcelona draw. Asperud versus Arnaldi in the quarterfinals. That's an interesting match, that one. Um, Arnaldi, I think, had a dodgy loss to Monte Carlo, if I remember correctly. Um, glad to see him back on form. I know, I know he can play good. Yes, um, that's a dodgy loss. Him and the gal played great, but I was expecting more from Arnaldi in that part of the draw. Um, so uh, he's got, I mean, it's not been an incredible, terribly difficult draw for Arnaldi, but he's got the job done. Uh, Sebastian Bayard was a real battle. Three-set win there over the eight seed. Just to be on hotel TV, thank you. <laughs> um, he's got the job done. He's in the quarterfinals. He's competing. The quarterfinals there, Noria Cheveri could be a battle. Echeverry played a three-star with Nakashima. Nakashima playing good on play, something we're not used to seeing. Um, he made a final last year on play. Um, did he? Or semi-final in... I think it was one of the ones... What's the one directly before... Um, directly before Roland Garros? Oh, I'm trying to think. Last year, it made it. Is it Leon? It's probably Leon. Um, and actually, we're playing well to get to the quarterfinals. I think for wins, but made it tough for Achevary, a more clay court oriented player. Oh, yeah, I saw about. Uh, I forgot to read um, someone's. You said about the Champions League. Lex, you were saying earlier, uh, even you don't want, um, even though I don't want Man City and Arsenal to win, you still want Liverpool to move forward. Oh, that's, that's nice. Thank you. I also want Liverpool to move forward. But um, yesterday, I mean, as much as it's great seeing people lose, it would have been. It would also, it might have been helpful, maybe, if they had a semi-final, Arsenal-Man City. Because it's like a distraction in the title race. I know we've kind of put ourselves out of the title race almost, but could have been a nice distraction to have. Uh, but they're both at the Champions League, so yeah, I'll take it, I'll take it. Um, Tossing yesterday's Champions League matches, both friendly teams are out. Still rooting for Man City is... We return from Shiontek, 15-30. Um, beat Real Madrid. I don't really like Real Madrid that much either, but I think I have more I have more respect for Real Madrid than I used to. 
as a Liverpool fan, Real Madrid giving us two Champions League final losses. It's pretty brutal. But um, I def I respect the club more than I respect a lot of the fans. <laughs> Oh, forehand winner from Srontek. We're all kind of waiting for an out call, but he's just striking first in this set. Look at this from neutral finds. I mean, it's very close that forehand, but just out, just in, sorry. I'm hoping Dortmund win the uh, Champions League. That'd be great. That would just be so fun. Nice. Serve from Mertens out wide. Gets the short return. Puts away. Save the first break point. Yeah, Real Madrid has been there, done that. I do not want PSG to win the Champions League. I mean, that would just be the most soulless thing to happen. Seeing an empty club, you know, win the Champions League. It was bad last year. I don't want it to happen again. As the forehand goes wide from Mertens, Jonta gets the double break. <laughs> <laughs> Good reaction, Sam. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> uh, very well, very well done. <laughs> Well enunciated in the text form. <laughs> yeah, Alfonso Davies. Love him. Four hands, four hands. Half volley pick up for Shiontek. It's pretty deep there. Now the back and up the line for a winner. She's just in cruise control right now and. Game away from this first set already. 26 minutes. Nice half volley. And then just too short that slice from Mertens. Just not cutting enough. Backhand winners. Shiontek. Septupling. Mertens. 7-1. to one. Up. Wore the forehand put away. It's not great from Shiontek. And now has to... Keep herself in the rally, slice into the net. Yeah, that forehand, the drive volley. Got it all wrong, really. 15-0. If you said that first, you know, um, we'd all be rooting for PSG. Potentially, you know, murder has got a point here. Let's see. Shiontek does not like missing. And she's missed again on the forehand, so it's kind of become a pattern. You know, she loses a tight point and then um, misses that wide. So let's see. Can Iga hold on? Meanwhile, it sits up past Carvias. Baina is really dragging. Still in the third game, sits up past 1 0 advantage. First serve, and at least Mert all over that uh, return if she had to play it. All over. Back and return. Strontek must win point here. Can at least Mertens get it? Get back and up the line. Strontek gives the short ball. And it's two more break points for Elise Martin. She saved two of them. Opening game, Sean Tech, and has another couple to save. Martin's playing well in this return game. Playing well. That's the thing. Getting Sean Tech on the run, she can offer short balls. She can just block four hands back instead of driving them. And um, Martin's taking full advantage. A lot of second serves coming through as well. First serve. What a forehand return from Elise Merton. So she's back in the set. No such red stick. 
And we go to the change of ends. Still, Sean Tech a game away from winning, but needed that buffer of a double break. 2 5. Nice return game from Elise Merton. Yeah, and played for, um, played for the Whitecaps in Vancouver. Let's see. Uh, uh, Felix Ojale team is going to play Tyro Daniels soon. Rochi Gonzalez versus Struth is still one all. Huesler, Hanfman, two all. Thirty loves Huesler. And Fagundo Diaz Acosta, it is match point. Three match points for Diaz Acosta against uh, the lucky loser, Marajan. Big, big uh, opening for Diaz Acosta. He's made it himself. You know, he beat the seed uh, in the board of shorts. He's in the third round, so fair enough. Point away from potential meeting with Stefano Sitsipas in the quarters. Sitsipas won't mind it, but Diaz Acosta will you'll be confident, you know? You'll be you'll be confident playing on his favorite surface. Left-hander. I don't think Stefanos has a good uh, record against left-handers. I know that might be biased towards Nadal, but I think it's still not great. He lost his uh, chapeau recently in Miami, if you remember. He has a cost to get the job done. 6-1 in the third. He's the Hungarian. He's got a lot of scalps recently, but can't quite um, take advantage of his his lucky loser position. Backhand is long from Sviantec. So if Mertens gets a hold here, who knows? Who knows? Sviantec will be under pressure. Just about, uh, if she can take everything out of her mind, just relax. We'll see. Sviantec's muttering a lot. No, I guess she's not used to facing that much adversity on clay. You think, um, think she's lost some finals, but that's mostly on Madrid to um, to Sabalenka and people like that. Hard hitting players as the back and return goes long again. Um, when adversity strikes, I mean the Mukova match last year in the final. You think Zhang a couple of years ago, French Open. Does get a bit sticky for Sviontek in general with adversity. And Sviontek wants to see the call. It's called out. I thought it might have been in. It was out, and Mertens accepting it, I think. Line umpire unflinching. <laughs> Get a lot of uh, the spotlight, these line umpires on the clay courts, because they've got an important job to do. Nice return from Iga. And doesn't come back. 30 15. Yeah, it's true, Joe. It's true. Um,. I mean, they stopped, I think they stopped replays past the fourth round or a fifth round or something. Not sure what it, um, what the current format is, but in my opinion, if you can't beat a lower league team over 90 minutes, then that's on you. You have the fixture congestion to deal with. That's your fault. And it's a big opportunity for um, these lower league teams uh, facing Premier League opposition a lot of the time. I mean, yeah. It's becoming very um, top-focused in general football now, especially in the Premier League. It's kind of like different 
levels. Like there's, there's the top six, maybe seven, eight with Newcastle now. Um, I still had a winner from Strontex, still Game Point Mertens. Um, so before, um, when teams uh, drew, they've won all or so. People used to draw all the time against um, lower league opposition. They used to do multiple replays. They they play the match again. So um, they play again at, um, I think, away. They play the other stadium. I'm not sure. Um, the match gets repeated. Gives people a chance. Gives upsets a chance. So you've got like the top eight and then you've got the teams bottom half of the Premier League along with quite a few teams in the championship that go up and down with the parachute payments. And it's everyone else just has to deal with it. It's so hard to break into the elite to, to be a new team promoted to the Premier League. It's so hard. The same teams up and down usually. You've got to be like incredibly rich or have a miracle ownership like Brentford, you know, to break through the, the Fulham's, Norwich's of the world to go up and down with the parachute payments. Four hands. One Mertens puts it away and it's love 15 at 5 3. Well, at least Mertens get back on serve. Definitely, um, she got to the two break points of the opening game of the, the match, but that was more Spiontek errors than Mertens doing well, I felt, but really on a run of momentum right now. Oh, and just wide of the tee. That's going to hurt Spiontek. She needs so, any free point she can get right now. Any free point. Backhand, one Sviontek, forehand Mertens. Backhand Sviontek, one of Mertens, one Sviontek. It's out, wow. And Sviontek's missing. Mertens is getting depth. Sviontek has lost 11 of the last 15 points. Yeah, I think they're promoted to League One, I think. So, um, yeah, teams teams from League One that got relegated, they'll be in League Two now. Fifteen thirty return long for Mertens, but she took it on. Being more aggressive than we're, I mean, we're kind of used to. She's... Difficult player to assess. She's not got too many weapons apart from her depth and consistency, but that's a great forehand winner from Spiontek with the Yazda along with it. There you go. Spiontek, you feel like she needs to hold this service game. If she gets broken, I don't know what kind of free fall anarchy we have in, in store in this match. I think at this point, it's fair to say Mertens has a chance, you know? But if she gets broken this game, who even knows? Two-time defending champ in Stuttgart, Egan. Very rarely struggles in a match. Only two three-setters in the two titles she's won. Second serve, backhand Mertens, backhand Sviontek, backhand Mertens, Juan Sviontek, backhand Mertens. Oh, big out call. I was late. Late out call, but she's not asking the umpire to have a look. What? Set point, eager. Wow. Carbez Paina, by the way, up a break on uh, Sissipas. 3 2, fair enough. And then uh, Hughes up a break on Hansman, 4 2. 
Let's see. Can Iga get the set one? Four hands. Backhand's fiance. Backhand slice. Mertens is long. And fiance, after a bit of a wobble and a good return game from Mertens, gets the hold, gets the set 6 3. A bit more tight than she would have hoped. But uh, gets the set and uh, set away from the quarterfinals. Which will play either Emma Raducanu or Linda Noskiva. On some poor shads on the on the screen. Um, let's see, Felix has got the break against Tara Daniel. Come on, Felix! Really struggled. Like uh, who? I mean, it was awful. The struggle. Um, struggle. Um, who's against? Is it Marchero? Someone, yeah, not a nice, I think it was three sets, three tie breaks. Felix won the first round. Yeah, <laughs> brutal. Let's see. Um... And they're saying that they say they're showing the, the Felix smash, but they're showing Struff. They're showing Struff uh, versus Botic. So who knows what's going on in that one. Um, Hans move a chance to get back on serve against Huesler. 4-2 advantage. Usually Felix is again. He's up a break. He's up a break against Tyler Daniel. He's up a break. Up to love. Easler saves the break point. This is perhaps going to get back on serve against Carbeas Baina. That would be a big upset. Carbeas Baina could get um, the win there. Very big upset. I don't think these clay, clay court suits it's about quite as much as the Monte Carlo courts do, but. Probably his second favorite play court. Maybe. I don't know. Hard to say. That was pretty well in Rome as well. Made Roland Garros final and all sorts. So, yeah. Return from Iga. Backhand. Wind of Mertens into the net. Strontek would love to start the match off. Set off with uh, another break of serve. Two break back points. One save by Kirby Spina. By the way, um, Lisa Mertens. Well, it stung a little bit that she didn't get a chance at least to get, uh, get back on serve in that first set, but fought hard, and that's. All you can do against Ego and Clay, give your all. Has a 13 and 9 record on the year, making the quarters in Charleston, losing straight sets to the eventual champion, Danielle Collins. Fourth round, Indy Walls as well, losing to golf in straight sets. Being Osaka there. You can get to this backhand. Nice pass from Iga. Mertens had barely even crept up the court before the backhand came at her, and that's good. Good stuff. Hola, hola. Welcome, MJ. Steph gets back on serve. Huesler at 5 2 now. Serve out wide. Can she put the forehand away? She can. Mertens, little smile there. Jontek really did <laughs> run for the hills for that forehand corner. Mertens wasn't going there. 
<laughs> Steph is playing um, Roberto Carbeza Spaina, the Spaniard. Four hands. Backhand Spiontek. Backhand slice Mertens. Backhand Spiontek at the line. Four hand Mertens. Not quite the purchase on the four hands. So the backhand, but the forehand goes wide for Mertens regardless. Break back. Not break back point, but essentially is. Did get broken in that um, first set. Serving at 5 1. Chance for a bit of just putting the nail in now. Spiontek. The Eagle win the French this year. I mean, she normally does. Uh, Mukova. I think does pose problems. People with variety and people with uh, huge firepower cause eager problems. She normally finds ways, though. I think, I mean, we'll wait for the draw. We'll wait for how she does. Oh, gets that backhand return on breakpoint. All wrong. It's, um, it's very likely she'll win the French Open again. Very likely. She'll be the betting favorite. And she will be, I think most years, should be on Sir. She'll be the betting favorite of the French Open. Regardless of how she is in the rankings, she on take a role in Garros is pretty scary. Three-time champion. I think three-time? 23, 22, 2020, yeah. Merton saves breakpoint now, advantage. Serve is missed out wide. Backhand to backhand. Backhand Sviontek, backhand Mertens. Backhand Sviontek is wild and that's missed. Mertens is playing better now than she was at the start of the first set. Sviontek got a job to do for sure. Saves the break point and holds the opening game of the second, second set. Let's see. Has Kerbeis been a beat in a top 10 player? He beat Runa last year at the US Open. And that was a Runa that's really a strange prospect, you know. So, um, yeah, it, he's got a top 10 win, but it's, it's a bit of a weird one. <laughs> He lost in straights last year to the Sitsipas of the French. Sitsipas is favorite, for sure. But he's struggling a little bit in that one. He was down a break, now struggling to hold 3 all advantage. So, uh, Carbeis Bain are putting it to him. Can Sviontek put away this forehand? She can. A little bit off balance, adjusting. 15 love. Oh, strike from Huesler as he gets the first set 6 2 against Yannick Hanfman. Yannick Hanfman was playing great around this time last year, but not been amazing. Not been consistent since. Nice forehand from Mertens. Doesn't come back. 15 0. She's hanging in with Sviontek. Fifteen oh. Not the blowout we were expecting. Shontek serving at five one for the first set. Mertens has definitely come to play to compete. Shontek first I mean I think she might have played Bill Jenkin Cup, but first tournament match on clay. This is still adjusting. Maybe. It's start for Mertens, though.
Drive volley, forehand, lob, overhead, put away by Iga Svantec, 3.15. I'm not doing Emma, no. A um, lot of good sport tonight. I don't want to, I don't want to miss it. I'm covering this one, though. <laughs> Hoping uh, Emma can get the win against Noskova, but we'll see. Felix gets a double break against Taro Daniel. Come on, for love. First serve is long from Sviontek. It's not easy right now for Eager. It's not the usual clay dominance. A lot of second serves. And again, Mertens gets a return deep. Sviontek can't deal with it. 30 all. So at least Mertens, 30 all chance to get the break in this opening opening Shionte game. Welcome, Cedric. Yeah, hope, hopefully we can do something. You know, we've not scored in back-to-back uh, -back matches at Anfield. Maybe we can do it at, against Atalanta. At their home grounds, we'll see. We will see. Hope we just at least go for it, you know. By the way, uh, Nuno Borja is playing Carence and um, Mute. Uh, Mute is a couple points away from a three set win over Portuguese number one in Bucharest. Now, Sviontek hits a huge ace out wide. Merton's having a look to see if it's in. Ooh, umpire's down. But then... Then she's back in her chair. I think Merton just conceded that point, conceded the ace, so... 1-0. One, One game all. Game of peace. Tough hold for Sviontek. Scraping through right now. As Mute does have match points. The young, say the young Frenchman. Diminutive Frenchman, maybe is the best <laughs> word. The board just taking a while to change his racket. Four hands. I mean, anytime she just gets trying to get, tries to get the ball from deep, Fiontek's struggling right now. Struggling. Yeah, he's double break up, Dutchie. <laughs> he's playing fine. He's playing fine. It's Taro Daniel on clay, but you we, we'll take what we can get. You know, we'll take what we can get. Second serve for Mertens. Double fault. So 1 all, 15 all. Sviontek had a break chance in the opening game. Can she fashion another chance in this game? Mertens is playing better. Surely Sviontek's got to break free at some point. Maybe we'll have a tough one. Who knows? Mute gets the job done against Nuno Borges. Nice return from Sviontek for 30, 15 30. Very, um, just <laughs> running through the handshake for Nuno Borges there. Wow, 12 breaks in the match. <laughs> Intense stuff. Fifteen thirty chance for Sviontek. Second serve chance as well. Ooh, let second serve just about over. Very close from Felix in the half volley pickup, but not quite. 
And Svjonsek, great forehand from Iga Svjonsek right in the corner. Can she get the break? She has two break chances now. Beautiful. Spin on that volley. Sorry, on that forehand. <laughs> on that volley. First serve out from Martins now. So Iga trying to get this chance. Felix saves the break point. Goal, a double break up. Just about in for Mertens. Forehand, Iga. One cross court. Mertens trying to get it back. Drops it short. Backhand. Mertens gets it back. Forehand, Iga. One Mertens into the net, though. Iga finally gets the break of serve in this second set. Up 2 1. First change of ends. First sit down change of ends, anyway. <laughs> Terry said this at 5-1. Let's not guarantee anything. At least Mertens is playing well. He's playing well. So, 2-1 to Eager. Can Felix get a 5-love lead in Munich? Oh, he's just... Push that forehand long. He wants to have a look. I think it is a uh, yeah second break chance for Tara Daniel. Meanwhile, sets the pass four all forty love up. Um, we some weird remixes in street car right now. As the pass gets the hold there, so Carbonis Spina struggling to stay in the first set. Gotik Struth is going on for ages. I mean, three all. And through, <laughs> through very few games. Eager back. Serving at 2 1. The woman running to their side of the court. She did indeed break serve. As I'm hoping Tara Daniel can't. For love advantage, Felix. Can he get a five love lead in this first set? You know, we can play well on clay. Not really his surface, but took Nadal to five on clay. Who does that? Very few people. I think Djokovic. Isner and Felix are the only people to take Delta Five, something like that. Very, very rare. Roland Garros, Nadal goes to five sets. Times he's lost, he's lost in four. Um, pretty sure all the times. Djokovic in 2021. But it's not a consistent holy grail of form, clay courts. He can run around his backhand more on the clay. More forehands for Felix. Even though his serve is minimized. Great rally. As... Mertens pulls off a great forehand pass to go up love 30 in this game. Wow. Pass from Elise Mertens. Can she get three break points? A couple at least in this game. Chance for the Belgian. I can't. Oh, she just can't get it in. All Mertens needs to do is get returns in right now. Svontek's missing, and it's three break points for the Belgian. Two 
to one love 40 just as she got the break she looks like she's going to give it right back four hands orange fiance comes to net and that's just not a good volley at all again not a good volley i mean these volleys look so uncomfortable to play first volley is so bad so so bad it's like the worst in volley she could have done basically Right back to Mertens, but gets it back. <laughs> I've heard of it. I've heard of it. I watched The Last of Us. I really enjoyed The Last of Us Season 1. And I never played uh, Last of Us or Fallout, but Fallout, uh, basically... Um, Nuclear disaster apocalypse. It's kind of, I think it's post post nuclear apocalypse. Um, kind of game. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, them. That's basically the gist, right? Breakpoint number three for Mertens. Four hands. Backhand Sviontek. Juan Mertens. Juan Sviontek. Just in. Juan Mertens. Backhand Sviontek. Finds the open court. Saves three break points. Can she hold here? Held 15 40 down in the last set. This would be a bigger hold here. Two all Demon or Feast to the early part of that match. Trebay Spina trying to. Hold serve 4 5 40 15. To go past 10 games in the first set against the Monte Carlo champion Sitsipas. Oh, great serve out wide, but again, a good return from Mertens deep, and he's not giving Sviontek any easy putaways, and Sviontek's going for everything. Missing a lot. Missing a lot. Yeah, Pedro Pascal. Playing um, playing Joel. Vamos Iga says Alejandro, welcome. Nice forehand from Iga. But again, Elise Mertens is getting the ball deep. Can she take this break point? It looks good. She's in to put it away. Shrontek's there, but she just can't get it back. And Elise Mertens back on serve. Really, for the first time in the whole match, had one all in this set. Deepest she's been on serve in a set. That's poor, poor from Shiontek. And how often do we see people getting returns in? All it takes for Eager to miss. Very, very poor. Needs to gain some consistency, some rally tolerance. She cannot miss third ball upon third ball upon third ball. Serving when someone's going to have a decent look at the return. God, keep it, keep the ball in, at the very least. Strontek's going to have a look at this second serve. Called in, missed the back end return. And it was in. 15 love Mertens. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, someone's stopping the point. What happened there? Is it? Is there, was there a distraction? I feel like there's a car going off. I don't know if it's... I'm not sure if it's um, me or the <laughs> Stuttgart. I don't know. Backhand Sviontek. Backhand Mertens. Backhand Sviontek. 400 Mertens. Backhand Sviontek. Backhand Mertens for a winner. She's playing well right now. 
Spiontek's got to be wary. If he's not playing well, Igor Spiontek. Mearns is up for this and uh, got to be careful. Returns good from Shionta, but can she get this backhand in? She can. Any sort of variety. It really messes Shionta up. A little spin on that um, forehand get from Mertens. The pass normally is money for Shionta. It's just not even close. First time playing these two. Mertens causing real problems. Welcome, Ghost. He has the Mertens. By the way, Felix, game away from first set against Tara Daniel, serving at 5 1. Struth serving to stay in the first set against Van Azanshul, but 4 5. Kerbase Baena serving to stay in the first set against Sitsapas at 5 6. Forehands to forehands. Backhand, Shiontek, backhand, Mertens into the net. 40-15 as Demonor gets the break. Go up 3-2 against Arthur Fies. I think it is indoors, yeah. I think it is. So 40-15, still two more game points for Mertens to take a lead in the second set. Against the two time defending champion, forehand. And Fiance get her game together is the question. Missing so often. And again, even when she's trying to run a little bit, she can't get it back. Mertens holds for 3 2, and Fiance has got to score herself out. Down in the set. She's up a break, and she loses two games in a row. I'm glad they don't have to go to outhouses in um, in Stuttgart, you know. Um, a relief for us all. Felix, two points away. And he gets to the set point. Oh, Carol Daniel making it hard for him. A volley, it's Break by point again. It's about two points to wait. Five, six, love 30 from um, getting this set wrapped up. If he wins, he, he plays Diaz Acosta in the quarterfinals because of Alcar's withdrawal. Since the match has been the real winner here because Diaz Acosta in the quarterfinals, Lajevic or Dimo or Fis in the semis, this is a very clear route to the final. Very clear route. His best plays his best. We know it. it'll happen. And he has three set points, five, six, love, 40. I'll go, go. Thanks, Dutchie, for uh, jumping in. Thank you very much. And uh, hopefully see you uh, for streams tomorrow. Queen's Gambit. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't mind Stefano says about as much as I, I used to really dislike Steph. But I, I don't as much anymore. <laughs> uh, Stronzi puts away the forehand there. Fifteen love. Good job. It's about maybe it's affecting him a little bit playing into Spaniard and Barcelona that might be making the match a bit more tough. Perhaps. At least Mern's is playing so well. Can't she put this forehand away? She can't. And that's better from Fionte. Keeping the ball in. 
so often in the last couple of sets, Shiontek has just gifted Mertens to the point when she even, when Mertens displays any sort of rally tolerance, which Mertens has ridiculous rally tolerance, so she's going to. Shiontek buckles, but this time keeping the ball in, even if it's short, it's low, and that's it's important. Giving yourself a chance. Overhead, put away. Well done, Iga for 40 love. So, proving to be a tougher task than she thought. Can she build on this strong service game? 3 all. Big brother. I'm a, I'm a big Survivor fan myself. Um, watching the episode before covering this stream. Love Survivor. Obviously, I mean, obviously no one um, no one criticizes Survivor as much as Survivor fans, but still come back. We still come back. <laughs> Nice return from Igor's fiance. Found its way in. Yeah, love 15. Good job. Since the is taking the first set. Van Zanschop Struf is um, gonna, going down to the wire. 5 all, 15 30 on Van Zanschop's serve. Can Igor strike here at 3 all? Up a break at 2 1. Lost two games in a row in this set and it's restored parity. Three all second serve. Love 15. Backhand returns good. Backhand emerges. Backhand eager up the line. She's pumped up now. And it's love 30. Very well done. Hey, Rob has a podcast. That's great. If that's what you're mentioning. Just re-referencing, I don't know. I think, um, was it Expedition Robinson or something? That was the first kind of... Something like that. That was, that was uh, pretty big. That turned into Survivor. Survivor really revolutionized uh, reality TV along with Big Brother, right? Ooh, just about finding the forehand line. Merton, she's playing well in this rally, but that forehand's wide. Love 40. No one stopped the point. And it is out. The the bat the forehand before. Love Rob as a podcast. The legend Rob Cesarino, he's the best. Yeah, you're not the only one saying this, Joe. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people yearn for more variety in the challenges. Three break points for his fiance. Lot of forty here. Double fall from Mertens, and that's gonna hurt. Fiance up a break for a second time in the second set. Hundred people watching the stream. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you are new to call the shot tennis. Fiontek up a set and a break now en route to the quarterfinals here. Yeah, Jeff Probe still hosting Survivor all these years later. Mm -hmm. 
So let's see. Other scores going on right now. Felix has struggled to get this set one. I mean, up five love or five one or something. Now he's serving at five three, 30 love. Two points away. Can he get it done? Even though still off a break, 4 3 against Feast. Uh, Van Zandstrup held serve. True serving stayed in the set against him at 5 6, 15 love. And has been down a set, serving at 3 4 to stay in the match pretty much. Against Huesler is Felix double faults, I think. Not clean, <laughs> not a clean kill from Felix in this set. That's all. So, Iga, two games away. I didn't really watch much Amazing Race. I don't think it's for me, really. <laughs> I like the strategy of Survivor. Oh, big net cord for Mertens. Big, big net cord. Big net cord for Love 15. Dribbled over. Iga got one of those in the first set. Didn't prove too consequential, though. Because she got broken, serving at 5-1. Let first serve. Is that um? So yeah, okay. People already answered the amazing race. <laughs> the turn long from uh, at least Mertens fifteen zero. Well, the thing is, though, you're saying about. Um, like a, a, the early seasons used to be a lot more about survival. Survivor is um is it's kind of evolved into a weird kind of um trinket um <laughs> advantage trinket like mini game show on an island. I mean, it's, it's up. Jeff does what he wants. And that's kind of um, the most part how it's turned out. Nice forehand put away. So it's, it's really detached from the early seasons where it's like, oh, we have to, we've got to boil the water, otherwise we die, kind of thing. Shipwrecked on an island. It's not quite the same. Um, they're not sticking to the that core. Element. Forehands. Ooh, Mertens. I think that that forehand got over. Shante was going to struggle in the volley, but didn't go with enough emphasis there. Yeah, I think the first, the first like 15, 15 seasons, maybe 14 seasons, very survival based, but past that, not as much. Backhand to backhand. Backhand is fiance. Backhand. Mertens up the line. Fiance is going to get there. Is it staying in? It is. Forehand to backhand of fiance. Backhand. Mertens cross court for a winner. 40 30. Mertens is not dead yet. Hey, welcome, KC. <laughs> Mental. Um, I know that um, Matt Hancock was on. Uh, I'm a celebrity to get me out of here recently. Uh, he was like, what was he before? The 
health secretary or whatever he was for the Tories. Um, I don't know how he got on to I'm a Celebrity. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. And then John... Um, people in the UK will might know John Burkow. He used to be the um, speaker in the House of Commons. He was on the Traitors. <laughs> US version as Beyonce gets the game up 5 3. Game away from the quarterfinals. Game away. Oh, oh, duh. Oh, duh. <laughs> oh, oh, duh. <laughs> oh, duh. Very expressive. <laughs> So Demon or uh, uh, a game away from the first set against Archer Fees. Struth. Looking like he's going to get a bagel in the tie break against Yannick Hanf. Um, no, Vanazan Shop. Up six. Love. Wow. Four hands. Is long from Mertens. Love 15. Love 15. They have the they have eye test exams. That's crap. Come on, you don't let people wear glasses. What? That's ridiculous. No. That's great that you got deep in the the auditioning though. <laughs> Fifty no return long from Shiontek. First serve wide from Mertens. Shiontek would love to not serve for the, the second set in the match. After what happened in the first set. Second serve. She's on top of the return and the backhand goes into the net from Mertens. 15, 32 points away now, Iga. Two points away. Oh, serve. Ace up the tee from Elise Mertens. That is clutch tennis right there. Ace up the tee. Come on. Gorgeous strike. As the Alan Struth does bagel. Botic in the tiebreak. Seven love. All that. Botic. It's brutal. Meanwhile, um, He's a game away. Having, having to serve to stay in that uh, match there. 4-5. Ooh, serve was in. So, did they replay the point? Or what happens here? I think, I think they replay the point, right? First serve, yeah. First serve for Elise Martins at 30 all. It was called out wrongly. Nice return from Iga. Now the forehand, inside in, forehand of Elise Mertens. Forehand Iga, forehand of Elise Mertens. Backhand Iga, cross court. Oh, just pulled it wide. And frustration for Iga. That was the chance for match point there. She's a bit of a perfectionist, Iga. That would have been a nice way to end it. So game point Martins to stay in the match. 3-5, 40-30. Demonor will serve for the first set against Archer Feast at 5-4. Backhand. Ooh! She made it. I thought she made it. She on take, but it's called out. At least Martins gets the game and forces Eager to serve out the match. Didn't do well in the last set of serving out, so let's see. 
pressure on Iga. Elise Mertens has played well in this set. Can she get herself to 5 all and beyond? Try and get to a third. It will Sviontek close the door. Definitely competed well, Elise Mertens, in this match. You have a look to see her record against uh, top 10 opponents. I think she's definitely beaten people before. Um, not too frequently. Let's see. They beat Jess Pagula uh, last year, the French Open. It was a good win there. Um, beat Kazakina in Miami. That's uh, the top 10 win. It's kind of like Kazakina's in and out of the top 10, you know. Um, Pagula at the French Open last year is a good win. A good win. So, Iga Shiron take a game away. Game away. <laughs> Man. Crack me up sometimes, ghost. <laughs> oh, Demon or struggling to serve out the set. Piece of two break back points at 5 4. Return long from Mertens. So 15 love, Iga, three points away. She was two points away in the last game. Couldn't get a match point. Can she get one in this game? Backhand. Oh, missed it. 15 0. And Iga is not playing a, a solid, concise match. This, this is just a bit loose all round, I'd say. Some errors that you just wouldn't see that often, especially on Stuttgart clay. Oh. Long the uh, forehand return from Mertens, three fifteen, went for it. Eager two points away, like she was. It's fifteen thirty on Mertens' serve now. Thirty fifteen on her serve. Pressure's on. You say he's so close to breaking through, but you said his. He's had his be best year um, ever so far. Definitely broke through to the top 10. Forehand, backhand slice. Backhand, Fiontek. Nice approach. And is it going to stay in? Long for Mertens. Two match points. There's definitely uh, room to make up on the serve, though. I agree. For two match points. I'm not sure anyone's commentating the Emma match. Maybe I'm wrong. But, um, heads up, MG. Ooh. Happened there. Did it hit a ball, kids? The first serve? Fault? I'm not sure. Second serve for Iga. Match point up. Can she get this one? Backhands. Backhand of Mertens. Backhands Fiontek. Oh, it's out. Another match point coming up. You can't take the first. First time of asking there. Huesler, by the way, gets the match one against Yannick Hanfman. 6-4 in the second. 
Feast does break back for a 5 all. He gives the best, says Mikias. Can she get it done on the ad side? Serves the backhand Mertens. Backhand up the line. Now forehand up the line. Backhand to Mertens. Backhand Iga. Into the net. This could get really messy now for Iga. 5-4. Two match points. She had the chances. She's let them slip. Mertens is ready and waiting. To get back in this set. Let for a serve at Deuce. Feel like she needs this to be another match point. Pressure Merton just putting her under, you know? Oh, indeed, Sean. Here we go. First serve, Eager. Good first serve. Great first serve out wide there. Mertens couldn't handle the heat on that first serve. Third match point. Hour and a half gone. Can she wrap up the match? She's not been easy in the slightest. And let's go three. <laughs> Iga does not agree with your um, your command there, I'm sure. Does it happen anyway? Third match point. Mertens gets to the backhand lob. Lands in. Forehand eager. Back and lob again. Is it in? It is. Forehand eager. Back and Mertens lob again. Moonball. Forehand of Mertens. Forehand eager. She's missed it. And wow. Mertens threw up a couple incredible lobs. Then the moonball. Deontay can't take the third chance. Inside the court there. She's inside the court. Oh, this could get messy. This could get messy now. At least Mertens looks mentally ready to, to get the break back. What can Iga do on the deuce side? Serve out wide. Now the backhand. Mertens gets a racket too. It gets it deep as well. Backhand is huge from Iga. That's clutch. Get to get back to the match point on the ad side. <laughs> Huge stretch get from Mertens, but Shiontek put the backhand away. Fourth chance to wrap up the match. Not been clean. It's not been efficient from Eager. It's another let on the first serve. No, 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 no. Could they get more nervy here? Demon or by the way, serving to stay in the first set now after being up a a break. Backhand Iga. Forehand Mertens. Forehand of Iga. Puts it away. Nice forehand put away in the end. A Yazda, a come on of relief more than anything. Nice handshake of the net. Elise Mertens definitely played her part. She played well today, but Sviontek in the end just does enough. Just does enough. Um, yeah, let's have a look at the unforced error stats. Let's have a look. He gets the job done. Sorry. Um, let's see. On four stairs. Any stats on that? Anything? Any stats? Um, see there. Lisa Murray's had her chances. Two of seven on break points. Um, point by point. I don't think we're going to see you on the scoreboard. Um, I'll have a look quickly. Uh, Peter in the chat, some relief, eager getting it done. Uh, few indeed. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. 
at these unforced error counts. And um, by the way, it is um, two all. No, it's, it's two three now to Steph on serve in the second set up a set against Carbea Spaina. Let's see. Eager getting the job done in straights in the end. Um, unforced error counts anywhere? Any unforced error counts? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> you'll have to find out yourself. Uh, <laughs> Shrianta gets it done in straight set 6364, a bit tighter than I thought it was going to be. But at least Mertens kind of set the stall out with getting two break chances in the opening game, made it tough the whole way. And Shviontek have to play Rad Radicanu or Noskova in the quarterfinals, beat Noskova um, Indian Wells, but lost to her at Stern Open. Radicanu can play Iga close sometimes, but. Um, Shontek normally is better, uh, especially on clay. Um, Rebecca or Paolini semis is not an easy draw for Iga, but uh, let's see how she does. Maybe it's the first match. She's got the bad one out of the way and she'll play better. We'll see. Iga through in straight sets. Bye bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Iga through to the quarterfinals in Stuttgart. Bye bye.